Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 14 of this house build. Let's get started. So our model is ready to be sent to Twinmotion. You want to make sure that you're, you click your saved and then this is under fine and your view is under 3D. So now what you need to do is go to your Twin Motion plugin and then click on see in Twin Motion. So let's wait for it to synchronize and I'll come back. So once it's synchronized, it will ask you the rank link to a new project and then press OK. And then here we're going to click on continue with 2022.2 version. So here is our project and because our ground was negative 19, that's why it's showing like this. Now we just need to click on the floor of twin motion and then here we could just drop it down like that and then it will show the rest of our model so you just need to do that and it will show before we got we continue what we need to do is we need to save save as and then go to the location I'm gonna save it right here and then I'm going to put the name and then save it right there. Once it's saved, I noticed that I made a mistake here. It's, this is not grass, it's supposed to be concrete. So I'm just going to go back right here and then select that and then this will be another floor I'm going to duplicate that floor number six and then I'm just going to change this one to a concrete finish and then I'm just gonna use one of this apply okay and then okay and then save it again and then click on C into in motion again now it will change it to a different material and then at least we could change that up so first things first go to your burger menu and then here sign into your epic games once you sign up that will um, you'll be able to be cleared to use megascan Quicksilver Megaset and Sketchfab if you if we were gonna need it. Um, let's go to material first and then glass. I always change the glass first with the two sided glass. And then here I'm gonna put the opacity around 70 to 60. And then here I'm going to change this to a much darker around 59 is good press ok and then here you use your a w a s t to go left right back and then q and e to go up and down so here um, we're going to change this to a black col color so we could go to wall covering matte paint and then we're going to change that to a darker and then reflect this reflectedness is around 60 62 and then in terms of the mullion I'm going to click on material picker click on that and I want it to be a darker mullion here if it's possible I'm going to do a darker as well and then that one I kinda like the black and gray 
combination so I'm gonna leave it like that and then something needs to be done here I'm going to look into that for some reason it's showing like that let's see in Revit what's going on so here it's good but in Revit it's not so in Revit it's good but in Twinmotion it's not so it's just probably a bug good thing it's not visible but we could just deal with that later on so now I'm going to use my satin paint and then satin paint right here so that everything is satin paint. We could use maybe the shiny one but it doesn't look good so the satin is where, where we're, go we're going to use that instead. And then here we're gonna choose we're gonna try to use this and then use a metal finish in terms of this I want to choose this metal panel I'm gonna put the scale down and see how it looks and then here we're going to change to a wood finish I want something that is I think this this one is good enough And then for this one, it's really weird because when we see it in Revit, everything is looking good. So now, what we could do is put in a stone finish. And we maximize the size there. We can change this up. Probably something like this but really is the best thing is is the dark as well this one can be good as well round stone and then I just want a metal I'm gonna choose chrome and then make it metal and then the reflectiveness I'm gonna put it down a little bit so it looks like a semi-gloss paint So I'm actually happy with this look and then at the same time I want my wood background so let's go to our quicksell mega scan and then here surface and then wood and then plank and actually I'm gonna leave it on white there and then here the wooden finish so we have wood finish 
we have another wood finish at the top stone and this metal metal panels and I'm happy with the way it looks and then here let's try and use the additional it doesn't look nice wooden planks I'm just going to use either concrete concrete painted And then let's check the stone here. I'm going to use this stone. And then th this beach pebble. So this one, I'm going to put it right here and it will look like that I think that's good enough and then I'm gonna try this one right here so that looks nice right there and then here I'm going to select that reflectedness on setting and then metalness on in terms of color let's make it something silver so i'm happy with that this is already concrete and then let's go back here and then go back again and then let's go to actually the material ground man-made and let's just use one of the concrete so concrete one and concrete two and then here we're gonna choose this metal reflectiveness and then it's already on so that's good then in terms of here this is really my favorite I want to try this one as well so it looks light you can see the stone so that looks nice as well So what I want to add is, I want to select this and then I'm going to my scene graph and I'm going to select both of the floors and then right click here and then isolate. Now we only have our grass. What I'm going to do is here. I'm going to go to my context, vegetation scatter, and then here, long grass, drop it there, select that, 
go to settings so it doesn't matter here I'm just going to select all of that so I was wondering if I just do so I'm gonna try and delete that what if I just do the lawn so that it's it looks nicer so you just need to click it click on it multiple times and it will go on all of it and then you will see that it's adding grass but the lawn grass is not actually looking nice so I don't want that as well it's not packed enough so I'm gonna try this long grass as well number one drop it there select that and then click here so this one is much better I like how it looks so it's building up like that and then what we could do is we could select that again or un deselect that I wonder if we could just select this one and then change the setting so now I select that again and then the sizing and then go back and look at it and then it's actually became smaller so 10% only and then now we just need to unisolate everything I know it's it became um, went over some over sprayed it but that's fine and then in terms of the gate I have a gate right here that is ready I'm probably gonna include that as well you just need to go here and then import and then you just need to download it from from where I am going to put it so here modern gate I'm going to select that and then add it right here you can pull it up and then go to drop down select only that one and then click on tab so that you can change how it it's being how it's wide enough and how tall it is I want it to be a little bit tall so that we can see the difference between both of this and then let's move this one past the wall there we go and then go back move this one a bit right there move it a bit and 
then I'm happy with that click on tab again and then hold on shift to add it on the other side press OK and then here go back it's already um, only in the color click on tab and then resize that or scale it and I'm happy with that now we have our model looking like this we can have an image like this and that will look nice in terms of the reflectiveness of this I'm probably going to leave it like uh, around 78 and then here we could turn that into black so that it looks nicer so that looks nice I'm happy with the way it looks obviously we're gonna use this view and then we're probably going to add some um, background so something that you will need to do so that it looks nicer and looks populated So that you have some neighbors around. So we're going to stop here for now and continue in the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.